Uh, well, my name is Krista Kluz de Gastella, and I'm just finishing off a Bachelor of Philosophy Honours at the ANU. I've recently been awarded a Fulbright Scholarship and that enables me to study for 12 months uh, overseas in the United States. Uh, well, my PhD is hoping to look at fear of failure, uh, academic underachievement and self-handicapping among high school students. Well, self-handicapping is, I think, a really interesting um, problem, especially in the West. I think for a lot of students, you know, fa failure is always frightening, but I think for a lot of students it's easier to swallow if you've brought it on yourself to a certain extent. So um, not studying for a test, um, you know, being sick, uh, not, not putting enough preparation or just giving up altogether. Um, so uh, self-handicapping is sort of a, a protection or self-defense mechanism. You know, you can attribute your uh, the causes of failure away to something else rather than your own uh, effort or your own input. Uh, and I think that um, one of the things that drives self-handicapping behaviour is fear of failure and is a belief that people's ability is something that's fixed, that they can't control or they can't improve on. Uh, when ability is seen as something that's malleable, then students are less afraid of failure because it's, it can be seen as something that's diagnostic feedback for how to improve. Uh, so, well, self-handicapping behaviour is, is really uh, interesting because obviously it affects students not just in their, in their studies and in their academic lives, but it can have all kinds of implications for their, for their later life, their careers and um, their families. Um, my, my parents have um, dealt a lot with athletes that have issues with self-handicapping uh, in terms of you know, performance anxiety and, and fears of failure. So uh, obviously addressing uh, this problem, uh, looking at it at a, at a grassroots level with young kids can hopefully carry through to have benefits for their later lives as young adults. Uh, well, for the last uh, year and a half, I've been living in Japan and carrying out research into fear of failure and self-handicapping among high school students in Japan uh, under the supervision of uh, Professor Don Byrne. And, uh, so far, we've managed to sample uh, over 1,200 kids in eight different high schools across Meikan Prefecture. Uh, and we haven't quite got to sort of the analysis of the results yet, but really excited uh, about what we might find there. And hopefully, um, what we can do in terms of some cross cultural comparisons with students in Australia. Uh, I think research in this area is, is really important and hopefully, um, will help identify interventions and um, maybe programs and ways in which we can help students deal with uh, fears of failure and, and overcome anxieties that might otherwise prevent them from achieving their goals.